Hello everybody, Anton Tinsky is here and in this video I'll go over a Voxhide tool. Well, Voxhide tool, most of you know about it already, but the first time I saw it in 3D code, you know, a year, two, year ago, two years ago, I just immediately knew that it's not as simple as it seems. You really have to think forward and kind of keep some stuff ahead in your head uh, when you deal with it, right? And I used it a lot designing this tire, and it was not like pre-designed, I didn't use any special alphas, like I didn't have any special triangular alphas uh, that I used to cut the holes or any, any such things, right? I did experimentations with Voxhide, I was able to come up with hundreds of different uh, disc shapes, and this was like one of the final ones, and it's used in my car design that I will publish a bit later, and I will talk about Voxhide for the car body in the next video. But I found a really cool feature of Oxhide that it's, we can um, use for these kind of rounded objects uh, goes along with the you know, symmetry, radial symmetry. So let's replicate some of it. <coughs> so I have this uh, cylinder. Uh, let's hide our old wheel. So, to achieve a bit more precision here, what I want to do is, I want to show the 2D grid, and I want to align... Hmm, well, I, I did this wheel completely eyeballing it all over. Uh, I want to give a bit more precision for this particular design. I tried to use 3D snapping, but 3D snapping is a little bit funny. A uh, bit hard to explain how it is funny, but just believe me, it is. So, I, I want to... I'll just... Again, I'm kind of eyeballing here, but I'm putting the snap grid, a 2D grid on top. So it's pretty precise and to on top of the gizmo that belongs to the um, cylinder. And then I go... <coughs> and I want to do a split. So... Let's do a circular split, then I start to drag around from that uh, middle point, and because it snapped to the 2D grid, now I, I can get a pretty perfect circle. Alright, I just want to double check. Oh, uh, it wasn't actually snapped to the 2 grid. Two grid. Uh, well, that's strange. <laughs> now, now it is snapped, and now I can do a perfect circle, but what I'm getting is I want to do a voxel border to be different and let's split it right and by the way I'm using this black like rubbery material as my default sh shader so every new shape I create will be of this particular color of this particular uh, will have this shader and I'll just turn on shader like that and I'll just do another one. Right, so just a rim um, design thin really. Okay, now I have this inner cylinder that I will use all around and I'll turn off my uh, grid. So I'll isolate it and I cannot really isolate it because I need to empty my root layer first of all let's do this split the top layer then I can and I need to move this up and I have it right I need to break the hierarchy to isolate this object and what I'll do I'll just do the voxel hide and I have this menu I'll just hide everything. Oh wait, before I hide, I turn on the symmetry. I'll go to radial, maybe something like, um, not too many, like six. Uh, axis, I always forget about the axis that I need. That's on the right one. Yeah, X. Just let's hide it all. So, if I unhide it right now, right, what I get is 
no, this shape's right. But this shape's the um, just flat on rectangulars, and they don't have any uh, slope to it. Nothing, nothing really complicated about it. So what I want to do is I want to undo it. And actually, let's unhide it. Go around, and I will unhide this stuff from behind. There you go. So now we get the super complex front shape, front of the wheel shape uh, that you can experiment all all around. For example, I can do not like uh, big shapes. What about thinner, thinner ones? Right? You get these guys. You change. So it's a bit of a guessing work right here. No, I don't really know what what I'm getting. I'm just experimenting really. Okay, a whole bunch of spikes and all that. But you can get this really cool stuff. You can get these triangles and such. So, and let's make try something like that. Bigger. Right? Yeah, that's all. That's a freaking cool shape, really. I'll just make it all black. I don't know. It looks better. It's pretty awesome. Even here, it's kind of interesting, minimalistic. And don't forget, you don't. Want, we can try the circle. So actually, ellipses. Let's try an ellipse. It will get a completely different stuff. Right? Again, this is complex shape. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So one of the other things is, well, because you have this full void, void filled with hidden voxels, you can try to build some shapes out of it. I have the rectangular tool on. I'm obviously pressing control to unhide and I have these few spikes built here then I go and try to build that it doesn't look that great but you know interesting experiment and then I can go and do a couple more like this created some really crazy tough shapes yeah, some kind of swastika going around yeah so this just really simple idea instead of un hiding the stuff from front you go and unhide it from behind and in if you're creating a wheel kind of thing, that becomes a powerful tool. But I also did another thing. I just started to try experimenting with different stencils, just pre-made stencils that you can get in inside 3D code for free. And where's this, where's this thing? have to click the right button to unhide the control <coughs> and actually let's rotate it a little bit and I want regular symmetry but maybe less like three let's do the rectangular unhide and boom so we're getting this pretty interesting shapes and let's do it again Another side. Okay. A bit of a few crazy shapes. Super complex. Okay, so if you keep playing around with this alpha, right, I made it bigger 
and I just stretch it along to make just the stripes and then I changed my symmetry to 3 radial symmetry, radial order 3 and then I, I'm unhiding everything and this gets you the pattern I used for my wheel right, you can see the same much pattern, it just appears much more repetitive and you have to play around with the scale for the right pattern Let's do. What about inverting the? That's actually fairly interesting. Hmm. All right. So I've played around with the size of it. Then I. So I, I achieved this this concave shape of the inside of the wheel pretty much using a boolean operation uh, so let's create a primitive that's gonna be um, a s just a sphere and I don't want any symmetry I'll just navigate it somewhere here just eyeball it and we need a new layer hit apply we get a sphere You see me sometimes jumping from one tool to another. I think in 3D code I'm still not like 100% comfortable with all the hotkeys I usually use, and even though I've been using it for a while now. All right, just okay. Let's press Control and destroy the model. All right. So, ah, one thing I've forgotten to do with with this particular piece, I've forgotten to hide to unhide the sides here. Like I, here you can see this this parts are like filled with you know voxels, and here they all cut out. What I actually did, I just un unhid everything here uh, for the final model, and I'll press. F12 a few times. Well, you do get this step in, <coughs> and that's a that's a problem really. I don't really have any great solution for removing the step in. Uh, as you can see, I still have step in there, still present. It's a, lo a lot to deal with the uh, with that that you're dealing with JPEGs and that creates it. I just don't know a, a f good way to get rid of it. So it's either I have to redo and do a queen topology which I don't have time to do or I don't know, find another other way which I don't know about. Okay, so we've just created this really cool complex shape and what I did um, a few more last touches was Let's turn on the radial symmetry and I cannot really see my pointers. Ah, yeah, it's not enabled. Alright. It doesn't seem I have it. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Okay, I kind of eyeball it. I, I remember the amount of pixels I have here. It shows you like 92 pixels. So I'll move it here, and I'm like, okay, it's 92. Release. And create a few more to make it more complex. But yeah, it's a bit of a time consuming task. Okay, you know. It really adds a bit of a. You know, 
life to this object, this few kind of really bold caps. So I would imagine there is a ball that connects this to the to the spinning disk, to the brake pads, all that stuff. All right, and then I would just merge it all together. Yeah, I don't think you can merge the whole tree, but I don't think you can merge the individual layers all together. You still don't have the shift select in 3D code, which is a bit crazy. Right? All right, so we have this guy. And just a final, as a final touch, let's go and, well, first of all, let's paint this blue. Let's go and add some threads right here using the vox height. So we want the radial symmetry one, maybe 12, from, and X, it should be it. And it's a lot of fun just doing this, so easy. You get this. I actually like them more than mine. Oh wow. I like these cuts way more than the ones I've done on my wheel. I think I'll just swap the the tires. And maybe just some other ones. Like this. Uh, yeah, I didn't really like them. I'll just do longer threads then I'll turn on the circle and what I want to do is I want to unhide bottom part right so it doesn't go through 100% and then F12 smooth it all and there I go I mean now it's getting a bit too shallow but uh, it's alright you just you keep on tweaking and tweaking and tweaking and uh, obviously if you want to make it on both sides you just go into different symmetry mode across the X axis and then you do the symmetry copy alright alright guys that's pretty much it and I'll show how in the next video I'll talk about how to apply all this Voxel heights to achieve some really cool p uh, stuff on curved shapes on a car body. Thank you for watching and see you next time.